Give me a run for my money There was nobody, no one that would run me So give me a run for my money Sipping bubbly, feeling lovely Living lovely Welcome back to my channel, guys and goddesses. So, um, with this look, I'm basically starting off um, with already filled in brows. I'm using my Max NC42 concealer as a base, and then I'm just putting my Sachet Buttercup setting powder over it just to make sure everything is um, set in place and it don't crease up. And then I'm taking Oldie But Goodie, which is MAC, not MAC, what the hell am I talking about? NARS, um, Abertars, it's like, I didn't even say that right, but anyways, I'm taking that as my highlighter for my brow bone and going into the Morphe 3502 palette, taking the color Universal, I believe, and I'm using that as a transition color. And then I'm taking uh, this color called a blaze in that same palette and just going right up underneath there. And then I'm going into the color called heat. And then as you can see, like I'm switching back in between brushes and whatever color I laid down before, I go right back into that color and kind of like just reblend everything. Anyhow, I'm going right back into that palette and I'm mapping out where I'm going to be cutting my crease with the color called Brunette in the palette. So then I'm going to go right back into the same palette and I'm going to use the color called Wiz, which is a black. And I'm just using that basically to deepen down everything. Um, yeah, basically. Y'all get the point. Anyways, y'all know like <laughs> I had to come with this cut crease right here. Like, yes, I, I definitely slayed it. Like, oh my God. Okay, so now you just see me once again going back with the previous brush and just blending, reblending everything. And then I am going to be cutting this crease with um, my LA Pro Girl Concealer. And fun, I think that was. I'm going to be carving out my crease with that and making these ugly ass faces like, bruh. <laughs> What do these faces come from? Like, I don't know why, like, when I do my eyes or I don't know anything in that area. I just have to make the ugliest face ever. But, yeah, that's how you know that you, like, you, you know, doing the damn thing. That's how you know that you, like, really getting in there with the cut crease when that face just start getting elongated. So, then I'm going into NARS Arbitral. Charles, I can't say that damn word. Y'all get the point. And I'm laying that in the front portion um of the lid and then I'm spraying my brush and I'm taking that shiny color in a palette called sauce is like an orange shimmery color placing that like in the middle area of the lid and then I'm going into this color called ruby which is a shimmery red and I'm basically just uh placing that on the outer of the crease And then you basically just see me relayering everything back on and reblending everything. And yeah, like you, you'll get it. Like you'll get it. Um, now I'm just using my NYX, no, NYC liquid liner. <laughs> I'm using that um, basically to create my wing. And then, um, of course, what I do to one eye, I have to do to the other. So, um, low-key, I kind of, like, 
that wasn't a ghost. That was my husband that had to walk past. Anyhow, I'm cleaning up with a wet wipe first. And then you're going to see me take my concealer and just, um, yeah, make that shit super sharp. Like, you know, your wing liners, they got to be sharp enough to cut a bitch. Like, if they ain't sharp enough to cut a bitch, then you ain't doing much at all. You feel me? But yeah, y'all get the point. And I'm just basically making sure that they on point, which they was not on point. They was definitely not on point. So I fixed them off camera and now I'm back with lashes and all that extra shit. And you're going to see me take my Wet n Wow mascara just to blend my real lashes with the falsies. And I'm just placing that NYC liquid liner on the top of my lash band to hide any um, gaps or whatever you want to call it. Now I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NC47. And um, I'm also priming my face with MAC Primer. I forgot the name. You know what? I'm just going to put everything in the description box. How that sound? That sound good. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to put everything in the description box. And you just basically see me placing my foundation on my face and just blending everything in with a brush first because that's what I like to do. And to me, I don't care like what anybody say. Like I got a million brushes, like nothing would ever, ever blend your foundation better than a sponge. So I always go right back in with a sponge whenever I lay down any cream liquid products. And then you see me taking my LA Pro Girl Conceal Concealer in the color Fun. No, actually that was cool tan I used. And I'm basically just uh, highlighting with that as well as using my NARS uh, concealer, which I don't know the name of it anymore, but I'm gonna just going to place everything down in the description box like I told y'all. But yeah, I'm just going to basically blend um, everything out, make everything flawless. Like the, the key to perfect makeup is blending and taking my brush with the foundation, leftover foundation, and I'm just reblending, going back over everything. And then now you see me setting my face with my Sachet Buttercup uh, Satin Powder. And you see me mapping out my contour, which I'm using Black's Opal Contour Stick and Espresso, I believe, to contour. So I'm using cream first, and then I'll be setting this with powder, of course, which in about a second, oh, well, after I blend it out. <laughs> So yeah, after I blend that out, you're going to see me sharpen that thing right back on up with my same LA Pro Grill Concealer. I'm just rebuffing everything and reblending and setting my um, highlighted areas again with the Sachet Buttercup Satin Powder. And then I'm going to go right back into my brows and just feather the front out some more because I feel like it kind of got lost with everything. So now I'm taking my Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep or something like that. And I'm just going to set all over my face as well as sweep that powder away. And then I'm taking my um, bronzer, my terracotta bronzer, and I'm basically um, using that to contour slash bronze with and then I'm going right back into the brow bone again with that same highlighter just to you know just to diddy everything up then I'm spraying my fix plus you know I gotta like I a look is not a look without me using this like I just still haven't found anything better to set the face um with well not just set the face but just basically bring more um skin back into the skin if you feel me you feel me? Okay, so then I'm taking my Bobbi Brown's Bronze Glow Highlighter to highlight with. And I'm using my Max Mariah Carey Sweet Sweet Fantasy Blush. And then, of course, I got to be extra, so I'm going to highlight again. Go right back into them with that glow. Because y'all know, like, bitch, like, my highlighter, yes, it got to be on point. So I went into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and basically just re-highlighted everything again. And then now you see me lining my waterline 
with uh, my Revlon Scandal Eyes and Cold whatever pencil. I don't know. You will see. Excuse me. Like, damn, he just bumped the fuck out of me. Like, really? Like, a bitch trying to sketch out their ass and you bump into me. Anyways, like, you just see me um, using this brush to take the color ruby and sketch that underneath. So then, after that, I'm going to use my Glitter NYX uh, Glitter Glue and this beautiful, beautiful uh, glitter by Violet Voss, I think. I'll put it in the description box. Look, I keep telling y'all, I don't remember the name or nothing. So just check the description box. And then I'm using Max Chestnut Pencil to line my lips. Then I'm going to go into this Sephora Liquid Lip Stain. It's an orange color. I'll place the number below. And just refeathering everything and refilling everything back in. And then I'm just basically using that brush to clean up the edges. And then I'm going to max my orange lipstick. And I am using, y'all know I use my liquid eyeliners <clears throat> as mascara. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using my liquid liner as mascara for my bottom lashes. And that completes the look. Um, I hope you guys and goddesses enjoyed this look. Uh, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. I'll admit I'm wrong, but I know that you gon' come for me, yeah. Never gonna not die, hit die, your loving is just to me. And every time you hit my phone, you say you need company. Uh, I'm a Renabo.